The first step of adding a new vehicle or trailer to the config is getting the game name, which can be done in game by using the command slash ram pad. You can also find and change it in the vehicles.meta. Once you know the game name, open up the config file. To just show the attached text on a vehicle, without having the option to add ramps, simply add the game name to the white list. If your vehicle or trailer does not have any built-in ramps, you can then also add it to the offsets section. To obtain the ramp offsets, you can utilize a tool available for download upon your purchase. Just execute the command slash ramp editor and adjust the ramp to your preferred location using the arrow keys. At the bottom of the screen, you will see the precise X, Y and Z coordinates for the ramp. Now save the config file and restart the script. The vehicle can now be used for towing. If your trailer has a built-in ramp, the script can also utilize it. For this trailer, the ramp is extra one. Include the trailer in the configuration as previously shown, but now there's no need to acquire the ramp offsets in the offsets section. Set the has ramp to true. And add the trailer into the ramp extra configuration section. Instead of adding the ramp prop, it will instead toggle the extra. And for the third type of a ramp, opening the ramp as the trunk. Adding it is similar to the ramp as extra trailer, except now you will not have to add it to the extras section. All you have to do is set has ramp to true. Thanks for watching. Hope this helped you better understand the adding of new trailers and utilizing the different ramp types. Should you have further questions, kindly submit a ticket on Discord. The link can be found in the description.